What's up, YouTube? Man, you already know. It's your boy, Rojo. This is the Rojo room, man. Hey, so, Charleston White. You gotta be more careful with firearms, you weirdo. Now, Charleston White, man, it's highly debated as to whether or not the outlandish things that this individual says are actually his true feelings. A lot of people claim that he says these things only to, to build his channel and whatever. And even if that is the case, man, he said some things that just way crossed the line, you know. And I try to I try to look at everything from an equal point of view, equality. You know, one man isn't any different than the next. And that's how I look at things in life, man. Black, white, Latino, Asian, Indian, native. It doesn't matter, you know. And I look at some of the things he says and try to envision what would be the situation if someone of a different ethnicity said those same things. Now, we all know he's a cop caller, crybaby, uh... You know, whatever he might be. We know we, we, he freely admits he'll call the cops. He runs around with pepper spray like a hyena because he says things that'll get his jaw broke. You know, this individual said things about, you know, the Uvalde situation in Texas where we had one of those weirdos go get his thing and, and, and do things to innocent people that is that are just disgusting. And he and not only encouraged it, but celebrated it and, and just thought it was real cute. And he has a lot of bad things to say, particularly about Latinos, Mexicans, you know, Central Americans, people that come to the United States looking for a better life. And the thing is with karma, what I've learned, this is just my experience is that the things you say and do and the energy you put into the world and your true feelings deep down inside of you have a way of coming back around in the negative. You know, in my situation, in my experience, and in my personal life, what comes around goes around has only met when I, meant when I put bad things out, bad things will come. Because there's a lot of times where I've done good and you know, put positive energy in and, and tried to, to be a better person and, and just have my existence not be a menace to society, but to be, you know, an asset. You know what I mean? Work and paying taxes, taking care of my kids, raising my kids to be better than I was. But this is one of them situations, man. Apparently he this this Charleston White fellow, you know, was at a strip club. And messed around and shot himself in the leg. That's the reports coming in. And while I don't wish bad things on anybody, I'm a firm believer in that you get what you got coming. This isn't going to be the last time that this individual has bad luck, goes through turmoil because of his character. Like I said, I don't wish nothing upon nobody, but it makes me laugh, bro, because the things you say will come back to haunt you, bro, in some form or fashion, man. It's just 99% of the time, life is going to give give you get backs. It's going to get back on you, man. And fortunately for him, it wasn't somebody coming to, to holler at him, man, because he has a, a, a an extremely large following of people that want to see him. They want to see his demise in any way, you know, all the way from just hoping he fails in life because of his smart ass mouth or something bad to actually happen to him. And it's all brought upon himself. People do that to themselves, man. You know, a lot of people take things seriously, whether it's just talk and, you know, that's his way of going about. Because there's a lot of people, man, who will get on there and say, oh, but he does this and he does that. Man, the two wrongs don't make a right. You know, 
things, you know, there's all kinds of cliches and sayings, man, that go against that. Like, man, I could, I could be sitting here promoting, you know, I could have a group home helping kids out, you know, disadvantaged youth or whatnot and giving them a place to live and feeding them and trying to lead them in the right direction, you know, but if they're all like, you know, if that's the good deed I'm doing, but I'm over here saying bad things about, you know, children that were victims of, of criminal disgust, <laughs> you know, just absolutely the worst thing you could possibly do and celebrating that and cheering it and wishing it on. I think the power of the negative energy way outdoes any good you might do. Now, that's just me. You know what I mean? But uh, the dude's a clown. He obviously don't know what he's doing with the firearm. You know what I mean? I've owned hundreds of firearms. I've never shot myself. I've never accidentally had a mishap and discharged a weapon. A weapon is not a toy. You know, whether you're out at the... I mean, we just seen that on a live recently on the Homeboy Dankin and Drankins live. An individual started playing with a firearm and was a little bit intoxicated and he's lucky he was he he escaped with only a minor injury when that thing discharged you know what i mean so you know you obviously man what are you doing with a gun bro like guns and liquor don't mix man you got to be more responsible a gun is not a toy it's not like a necklace you put on for a fashion statement. You know what I mean? I just see dudes' days being numbered. And like I said, I don't wish that on him. But he's going about life the wrong way, man. At no time, man, should some of the things be said. The dude said. And it's just like there's no, there's, there's very minimal backlash because of ethnic lines. You know, some people might be able to get away with saying some things. And if others say it, their career is over. The dude shouldn't have no career. I don't care what race he is. It doesn't matter. Any person that says things like that, they should be ostracized from social media. And, you know, pepper spraying rappers and talking shit. People aren't playing. I mean, we learned that with Savage Studios. We learned that weekly in L.A. When people go there and, and end up getting robbed and shot. There's people out there that just don't play. And, you know, when you're when you're when you're really feminine built, you got a smart ass mouth. You're 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 telling. And you're challenging grown men to 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 pull up and you ain't going to do shit. Man, somebody's going to do shit. But the best part of all this is that you just did shit to yourself because you're a fucking idiot. Ah! <laughs> Little Charleston got boo-boo. That's what you get, man. Square.